Alright, so if y'all ever wanted to see what it looks like to take a track apart, here it is, man. See, putting a new final drive in it. This is the one that we took apart the other day. It had all the stuff messed up in it right there. I think, what, it's $25,000, ain't it, Dale? Ain't that what that thing is? Something like that? Uh, those are about 10. Yeah. Okay. Where'd I get 25 from? See, that's a chunk of steel. Y'all just beat that pin out. Y'all ain't got no press. Dang. Y'all better than I am. So there's the other side of it right there. All the lines connected up. I have to drive one of those cans out, man. Holy smokes. That'd be rough. These are some big old chains, man. Let's see how big old chains. So I haven't been able to film this because I've been up there loading. It's starting to rain down here, and I'm fixing to head over to our job, Alabama, on our land and start cutting over there. Just had to take the sprocket off. There it is laying right there. And I'm going to go over there and load the rest of the day over there is what I'm about to do. So I hadn't been able to film none of this. you one of the guys that normally works up there in the shop and everything. Oh, you got a service truck too? You, you gotta be cool, man, because your name's Tim, too. That's right, so we're both cool then, because that's my name. <laughs> it's a lot more cooler than Dale. Dale, you gonna get wet. Yeah, it's good right now. yeah. I don't think we're gonna get much. Somebody's texting me. chunks man all right i'm gonna put this camera up before it gets just soaked here I'm in the jeep today they got a winch and everything even got a synthetic cable on it's rope on that winch too just got through stopping by the store and it's, hey, it's trying to rain over here now that gummit got me a bag of gizzards and livers man soul food and then i got this right here oh yeah get up in this beast here or have some trucks coming over here any second now all right this makes the third freaking time time i've done tried this i don't have much service here and we'll try it again all right y'all want to see how we keep up with our trucks you see that app right there fleet mania Let's see if it'll load this time live view Alright, it's going to load this time. Alright. All of those are our trucks that are on that map right now. <clears throat> it tells me where they're at, whether they're stopped or moving, the speed that they're going. See, it tells me all that stuff right there, what road they're on. Uh, that thing is very handy for us. We have, there, what it is is GPS tracking on all our trucks. So you can see all these other ones. They're parked at our shop right there. All those right there, they're at our shop. All right, I've got a truck that's about to be here. <clears throat> He's coming in right now. That one right there, that's going to be Danny. See his truck number? There he is right there too. He's coming up. Watch when Dad moves. You'll see him. See him right there? All right, so we use this right here to track those trucks 
for a bunch of different reasons. And uh, the reason that we do, we also use it to uh, keep up with our oil changes and stuff like that. Our fuel reports and, and all, it's real handy on that. But we, the reason why we do is because it makes it simple like Kevin or Derek or Dad or I or any of us can pull up and see where those trucks are at any given time. And uh, man, that's a, that's a huge benefit for us to uh, to have that like that because, like, sometimes in the past, you know, you call a driver or something, asking where he is, he may not exactly be truthful where where he's at, and he could get another load, but he don't want to come back to get another load. So with this here, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt where they're at, where they're at. It tells us where the trucks are running or not. I mean, you can you can set it up to do all kinds of stuff. You can set up geo fences on it so if you don't want to get out of a certain you know if you want them to run a certain route or something like that it lets you know if they're out of that route it, it does all kinds of stuff so it's it's pretty cool just thought i would show y'all that like about twelve thousand pounds on that load so kevin's not here yet i'm gonna grab jump on it a22 Run me about 12,000 pounds right quick. Dad's got it piled up up here behind. It won't take me but just a few minutes to spit out six tons of wood. I'll be good. I'm turning on the power, y'all. I'm not lost my brain. Get around here. Let's fire up, man. That's an old doll system running that right there. Solid, baby, solid. Right, that's what she looks like. Dude it up right there. The length, the diameters and everything right there. See it? Let's roll, baby. This egg sucking sap sucker right here, man. Threw my chain off, dead gummy. Man, in the south. You never know in five minutes where it's going to be flooding, pouring rain, or it's going to be 959 freaking degrees, man. I guess we're in the heat right now. We put this chain back on here right quick. She's back on, man, ready to roll. All back up in the beast here. War has got these things where they do everything. Except for putting the chain back on, man. If they could ever perfect that where the chain put its back itself back on itself. I know I screwed that up how I said that, but it's all good. Oh, baby, won't bog out. But it'll be the perfect machine then. Well, I ran up everything Dad had behind me there. I'm going to jump up here and see if it's enough to finish this truck. Hopefully it is. Man, that's a load of S-H-E-E-T. Sheet. Sheet right there, boy. They ain't no telling. That's like picking up pennies in the parking lot. You load it, get it on there, man. It adds up to a full load. Got trimming her up here. Looks good once it's all trimmed up, man. Fixed up. Nice. We got, uh, somebody asked me about our things that we use. This is just a, that's just a piece of rebar with a lag bolt welded to it right there. You just screw it into the log there is all. Those things are, they're pretty handy. They're pretty good. A lot of little stingers on there though, man. Y'all listen to that,
may not be able to move tomorrow, people. I thinned two rows and cut two corridors. Boys, even though I log every day, <laughs> riding that bucking bronco, cause what? I probably run that thing three hours, didn't I? Yeah, probably. What time is it now? Seven o'clock. It was four. Yeah, it's three hours because it was four because I looked at the thing because that softball game started. We rolled a day, boy. I cut a I cut a couple hogs over yonder. I mean, biggins. Yup. So sure did. Yeah, you wait till they come on. They they going they got some really nice ones. To bring up and. Uh, 88, 88 chicken salt. All right. We'll talk to Dad here right quick. So that's the back of the baseball field, softball field sitting over there. I'm finna go watch a softball game now. So, if you like my stuff, man, y'all please subscribe to me. I appreciate all y'all watch my stuff day in and day out. Even all the ones, I mean, because that less than one percent comment. So I mean, there's ninety nine percent don't comment. That's pretty cool, man. But I appreciate y'all. Uh, so I'm gonna go watch this game right quick. Y'all be good. Find me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. All Cotton Top Three. Later, taters.